guys, welcome to Classic Rock and Country Music Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, today's video is on Mr. Eddie Van Halen, probably one of the greatest rock guitarists in the world. Um, but according to Far Out uh, website I found, uh, there's two guitarists that Eddie Van Halen could never match. And I tend to pretty much agree. Let's see what you think. Although the late Eddie Van Halen was one of the most impactful guitarists the world has ever known, he still counted many great players as his heroes, all of whom helped him establish his own distinctive style. Yet according to him, there were two players that he could never match, no matter how hard he tried. That's right, even the very best to pick up the guitar are acu uh, acutely aware of their limitations. This was particularly true for Van Halen, which is ironic given him how greatly he affected guitar playing in all its relevant forms. He made it clear over his life that the two maestros that he could not replicate were Jimi Hendrix and Jeff Beck, regardless of previously describing Hendrix as sloppy. When speaking of Rolling Stone in 95, Van Halen admitted that he could not reproduce the unique sound of Hendrix, asked what it was like to rec record at the storied elect uh, Electric Lady Studios, where Hendrix laid down some of his best-loved songs. In response, the jump hero drew a distinction between him and the late psychedelic pioneer. He followed this up by saying he also struggled to emulate Beck. Yeah, it was great, Van Halen said, but I never learned a song by Hendrix except Purple Haze because that was a pop hit. I didn't know how to get his sound. That's what turned me off. Same thing with Jeff Beck. I just plugged into my amp and turned it all the way up and loved the way that sounded. For me, it was all Clapton because he was so straightforward. When speaking with Howard Stern in 2006, uh, Van Halen uh, elucidated that uh, regarding Hendrix, which of his struggles had to do with the reliance of equipment, which he just couldn't afford. Pressed on whether he thought the Purple Haze star was a hack, he maintained, no, no, he did some crazy shit. I don't know. I couldn't afford the Wawa pedals, the fuzz box, all that stuff, you know. I kind of did my own thing. Uh, returning to Rolling Stone in 2011, Van Halen outlined how Jeff Beck was so unique as a guitar hero. He recalled, I didn't get into him until blow by blow, just the instrumentalist of the of it, uh, and wired in 76. Interesting enough, uh, interesting stuff in there. I guess it was just the experimentation in it that I liked. Regarding the unique dynamism of the Londoner, he added, Jeff Beck is definitely a standalone. You never know what the hell he's going to do. My brother and I were in France 20 years ago, and Jeff Beck was playing. He was doing a rockabilly thing. We were like, what the hell is this? You never know what to expect with him. Some days I have an issue with reading. And today seemed to be one of those days, and I apologize. I hope this all went through okay. I also do not like to edit because I like to be me, and I don't like to come across as somebody I'm not. Um, <clears throat> so I hope you understand. But... Um, Got to agree. I mean, Eddie Van Halen is just awesome. But then again, you're talking apples and oranges. You're talking like three different styles, man, between Hendrix and Beck and, and, and Van Halen. So just because one can't replicate another sound doesn't make them any better or worse. Although with Jimi Hendrix, man, and Jeff Beck, they were just kings of the guitar, man. I don't like to play them gods of guitar, gods of anything. I'm just one god. But, uh, uh, the the greatest and uh and me threw Eric Clapton in there too. I mean there's there's a lot of them out there. And Eddie Van Halen is counted amongst those in my book anyway. How about yours? That's all I have for you. Please don't forget about classic TV facts and trivia. Head on over there, check it out. Please subscribe. You guys have a great day. God bless. Hey yeah, I'll be praying for you. <laughs>